Hello everyone, I'm Travis, and let's get Wanderlost. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that's very important to a lot of people who go on cruises. This is how they wake up in the morning, keep their energy for those late night parties, and overall just relax after a nice dinner. And of course, we're talking about coffee. I know if you're new to Royal Caribbean cruising, or if you've been on a couple cruises, the coffee situation aboard a Royal Caribbean cruise can be kind of confusing. So there's coffee that is included, and then there's coffee that's not included, and then I can have Starbucks, but I can't have Starbucks Starbucks. How does this make any sense? So let's go through it, and we'll start with what coffee is included with your cruise fare. So typically with your cruise, the beverages that are included are ice water, coffee, tea, lemonade, and juices. So when they talk about coffee being included, they're not talking about specialty coffees. They're talking about regular black, hot, cup of joe, two creams, two sugars, coffee that you can get at these little coffee bars throughout the ship that are in the Windjammer or the Cafe Promenade or the Cafe Latitudes. It's basically your basic cup of joe. So where can you get this type of coffee at? Well, it's basically anywhere that has the free food. So the Cafe Promenade is usually the most common one. The Wind Jammer is the next most common. And then the main dining room, either for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, usually has the basic coffee available to you. Typically, these places will have a little station where it has all the creams and sugars and coffee in pots or coffee out of dispensers. Typically, if it's out on the counter, that's the coffee that'll be included with your cruise fare. Now, what coffee is not included with your cruise fare? Well, typically, that is what they call specialty coffee. And this will be any of like your iced lattes, you have an extra shot, caramel macchiato, you know, your special coffees that you would normally order at a coffee shop, like a higher end Starbucks or a Dutch Brothers. 151 if you're in the DFW area. Essentially coffees that are just not hot coffee that you pour cream and sugar into is considered a specialty coffee. You can get these specialty coffees throughout the ship. Typically it's Cafe Promenade again, but you order directly with somebody and they make it for you. It's not like sitting out in the little coffee pots that you pour yourself. There's also Giovanni's on Utopia of the Seas has a coffee bar. Ca uh, Cafe Vitality or the Vitality Cafe inside the spa on Oasis class ships. And there's a few other places throughout the ship like the Windjammer and a few bars and stuff that also do specialty coffee. So how much is the specialty coffee aboard your Royal Caribbean cruise? Well, it depends on what you order, of course, but it's usually between three and seven dollars per cup. So it's very similar to going to your coffee shop on the corner and ordering a coffee there. So three to seven dollars per cup of coffee, depending on what you get. Now, I know what you're saying. I have a drink package, either the refreshment or the deluxe beverage package. Doesn't that include specialty coffee? And the answer is yes, but to a point, there is an exclusion. We'll talk about the exclusion a little bit later, but let's talk about the drink packages and the options you have to get coffee on your cruise. So the first option is the Cafe Select card, which is a punch card that allows you to get coffee on your cruise, specialty coffee. And essentially you get one punch per drink you order, unless you order something with an extra shot of espresso, or it has two shots of espresso, and then that'll take two punches. You can typically order one of these cards before your cruise on the cruise planning website, or you can go to any coffee bar on the ship and actually purchase one. And remember, if you don't use all of your punches, you can use that card on one of your next cruises going forward. If the Cafe Select coffee card is not for you and you drink way too much coffee like my wife, Nicole, Next up is the refreshment package and the deluxe beverage package, and these are usually a better option. Both of these packages allow you to order as many specialty coffees as you like, with as many shots of espresso as you like at any time of the day. And remember, you don't just get coffee with these packages, you also get 
we have the refreshment package like soda and mocktails and all that stuff and then with the deluxe beverage package you also get all the alcoholic drinks wine beer and mixed drinks as well now i did say there was one very important exclusion that didn't qualify for any of the drink packages or coffee cards and that exclusion is starbucks and yes, if you didn't know, there are officially licensed Starbucks locations on certain Royal Caribbean ships. These ships include Utopia of the Seas, Icon, Allure, Oasis, Wonder, Symphony. Basically, a lot of the newer ships in the fleet will have a Starbucks, including some of the older ships like Navigator and Mariner of the Seas. Starbucks locations are exempt from all of the drink packages and they do not qualify for any type of onboard discounts or that sort of thing. Your onboard credit does work at Starbucks though, so that I guess is a good thing. And I know there's folks out there that are supremely loyal to Starbucks and they have the app on their phone and they collect the stars so they can get free drinks and that sort of thing. You can collect stars or earn stars at the Starbucks on the ship you can even load up Starbucks gift cards before your cruise and use them at the Starbucks locations that are on the ship. You just cannot redeem any of the rewards that you would earn. So let's say you have enough stars for a free drink. Unfortunately, on your Royal Caribbean cruise, you cannot use that reward for a free drink. Now I know there's gonna be some confusion about this because Starbucks standalone locations or the official licensed Starbucks locations that are on your ships are completely different than Cafe Promenade or Cafe Latitudes or some of the other locations on the ship that say we proudly serve Starbucks coffee. Because yes, Royal Caribbean serves Starbucks coffee in their coffee shops and they have Starbucks locations on their ships and they are completely different. So I guess the easiest way to kind of break this down is which ships actually have a full service Starbucks location. So the Oasis class ships all have one. So that would be Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, Wonder, and Utopia. Odyssey of the Seeds is the only Quantum class ship that actually has an official Starbucks. And then both of the Icon class ships, so that would be Icon and Star have one. And then going back to some of the older ships on the Voyager class, both Navigator and Mariner have an official Starbucks on board as well. So you kind of have to pay attention to what ship you're on. So if you're on one of the ships that I just talked about, you can use your drink package in any of the locations for specialty coffee, except for the official Starbucks location. That official Starbucks location on Oasis class ships is right next to Bolero's on deck five. In the Quantum class Odyssey of the Seas, it's right across Cafe Promenade in the Esplanade, and then on the Voyager class ships, it's in the Centrum area, which is over, I think, deck four or five near the back of the ship. And if you're on an Icon class ship, it will be on deck five in the Royal Promenade across from the Pearl. If you're not on one of these ships, you have nothing to worry about. Every venue will take your drink package. You don't have to worry about the exclusions. So as a recap, Basic coffee is included in your cruise fare. That's like a cup of joe with two creams, two sugars. But if you wanted a specialty coffee, like an iced latte with an extra shot, that is not included and you'll need a drink package or pay for that separately. The Starbucks standalone locations are not eligible for drink packages, but you can use Starbucks gift cards and earn Starbucks stars at those locations. So that's kind of all the information about coffee on your Royal Caribbean cruise. Hopefully I've made it a little less confusing for you to make your planning for your cruise a little bit easier. If you have any questions about coffee on your Royal Caribbean cruise, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm sure Nicole will love to answer all those questions since she drinks so much coffee. If you'd like to support the channel, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And again, if you need us, we'll be up in the Windjammer. Thanks so much for watching.